Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'll be showing you how we can take demo content from the X theme for WordPress um, and basically use it to have a rough estimate of a fresh WordPress site right out of the box and then we can customize it a bit with the Cornerstone Page Builder and all of this will not require you to code at all, it's basically all done with a graphical user interface. Uh, if you don't know about the X theme, it's one of the more popular all-in-one premium themes out there for WordPress and it gives you four different stacks to work with uh, basically four different settings packages that you can customize to your liking um, integrity which is more for business sites or apps um, very kind of standard layouts uh, you would kind of think the three column thing right below the slider that's something integrity is pretty good at renew which has flat design so you can see here in this uh, tablet image on the website that it's got a block over here but the block really has no depth it doesn't have any borders and neither does the icon located within it uh, so that's a rough estimate of what flat design is um, icon which is more about lightweight and minimal style of things where you have maybe more light white space the elements on the page aren't super cluttered they don't really take up more space than they need to um, and also I've noticed a lot of the icon, uh, the demos from the icon stack like to have sidebars on the left and sometimes on the right as well. And then the ethos has a pretty cool feature. Um, as you can see, it's more supposed to be targeted towards magazine sites. You can, of course, use any of these stacks for whatever you want. Um, and with ethos, you have the option to have this slider bar at the top, which is basically just taking the featured image from every blog post and providing a link to it right at the top of your page. So that's an option you can enable or disable within Ethos. So anyway, each of these stacks have a few different demos that you can load up on your website to get things going right out of the gate. So I'm gonna switch over to the WP Admin page of my demo WordPress site. Um, I'm not gonna basically show you how to install WordPress itself. There's a million tutorials on that and it's pretty easy to get going, but once you have WordPress installed and you've logged in as an administrator to the backend interface WP admin, this is where you're going to be. And if you enable the X theme with appearance themes, then you're going to see this extra menu on the left, the X add-ons menu where you can load the demo content, validate your product, and check for the extensions that come with X, uh, of which I believe there are 20, including three different uh, sliders almost bordering on unnecessary there, but um, there is a bit of difference between each of the slider plugins. So um, you can basically go straight to demo content if you want to get started. Um, and you can look at this drop down menu where you'll be provided with the different demo uh, layouts that I was talking about. And we can just click on one, click the demo, and it'll take us back to the theme co website where we can see the webs uh, the the demo itself live before we actually install it. Um, here we're looking at one of the demos for Icon. You can see very minimalistic, doesn't take up a lot of space, has that sidebar on the left. And this is, uh, I, I kind of think this would be a pretty good option if we wanted to go with it. Um, but let's take a look at a couple others first, maybe one from Renew. And just kind of uh, floating through my mind, the kind of page we might want to customize. So. With Renew, once again, you can see not really any borders. <laughs> Without using the word flat, everything's kind of flat. That's the idea. Um, mm -hmm. And this could be more for like a software as a service website. And we'll take a look at one more from Integrity. And you know what? We'll do an Ethos one just for good measure. So with Integrity, um, should mention that there's all actually two options you can choose to toggle a light theme or a dark theme so if you like uh, black backgrounds and white text that's a option available to you there um, though the amount of websites that actually use a black background very small most use white but up to you and let's go ahead and grab one from ethos uh, of course if you do pick up the x theme or if you've already got it you can go through all of these and really figure out which one you want. Okay, so this ethos one, definitely more like a freelancer page you got going on here. Um, photographer. And 
you can really see that X is quite versatile. Uh, they're not really kidding when it's all in one. And that's the idea. They, they give you the settings so that you can customize whatever you want. And then they give you the demos so that um, you can get close to what you want, basically without having to do hours and hours of customization. So let's go ahead and grab, say, Icon 10. I was looking at this one a little earlier, and I did like it. Um, it's kind of basically um, image, then text, then image, then another block of text. And I think it's a pretty good layout for... Um, basically anything that wants a really long first page, maybe for a freelancer, maybe uh, even for a business. So it's pretty solid. Uh, menu bar at the top is pretty good. Uh, I like that they have the icons there, which you can kind of customize to your liking. And we'll go ahead and load that up. So what I will say is before you ever import a demo, make sure you're not running it on a live website. Um, back up everything. If you're looking to keep any of the data just in case something goes wrong. Um, in this case, it'll warn you as well. But you probably want to test on just a, a test website, of course. So you can install WordPress locally. And there are other tutorials which can show you how to do that first so that you can basically get your theme settings how you want before you push it live on the internet. So uh, since this is just a demo site, I'm just going to go ahead and hit yep because I'm not worried about any of the content here. And it'll including any of the posts and portfolio items which go along with this demo, if any. So what's actually going on here on the front page, we can see a bunch of different data, and these are actually short codes for the Cornerstone plugin. Um, so the only reason this is showing like this is because I haven't actually enabled the plugin. And uh, just to note, some of the demos, if they come with a slider built in, you'll want to make sure that the right slider plugin is enabled as well. And all of these extensions, if you have them installed, should be able to be found in X add-ons extensions. Um, <clears throat> the plugins do come with the download for X, so you just need to put it in the plugins directory, WP content plugins, that is. Um, and we can see Cornerstone, uh, basically you can install it right here. And the other plugins, if you uh, did bring them into the directory, should be able to be managed here. You can also, well, if you hit manage plugin, all it's gonna do is it's gonna take you to plugins, installed plugins. Here for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and install the Cornerstone plugin so that we can actually have the data show right on the front page. So essentially, if you are using the demo content, you will have to make sure this plugin is in fact enabled. Um, so we can see it's been activated successfully. We can return to extensions, refresh the front page, and it should work essentially flawlessly. Now. The one difference you'll notice over those demo sites is that instead of having the images that were on the demo sites, we have placeholders here. So if we wanted to customize this and make it our own, we would definitely need to go into the pages uh, where we can find the front page, the demo home, edit that, but specifically edit it with cornerstones so that we can use the drag and drop interface to really make it our own easily without having to code. So here we can see that we have a bunch of options on the left, including the layout where we can see the different main sections on the page, which are just these full width blocks that go all the way down. And we can change the data in each of those. We can use the elements tab to add in different elements to these sections in whatever order we want. We can, uh, let's see, if we click on an element on the page using the inspector, we can change a lot of the settings located within it. And you can see, really, for the most part, you're not coding here. I mean, you can add in custom CSS if you really want to mess with it. But generally speaking, you don't need to know how to do that. And then settings that are more overall or for X themselves. Uh, also, the ability to drop in snippets of custom JavaScript code and CSS code. Once again, we don't need to mess with that for right now, and uh, you shouldn't really need to. Um, generally, I mean, just to kind of be a little bit more concrete about this, generally, if you are an average site owner and you needed to use custom JavaScript, it would be where something like Google Analytics tells you to put this code in your website and you're just copy and pasting. So don't freak out. You don't necessarily need to code in in most cases. Uh, da, 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 da. So we have these placeholder elements, a image behind this logo right here, 
um, and another image over here. But we don't really have any art assets, or maybe you do, but I certainly don't. So one place I like to use for grabbing this kind of thing is pixabay.com. Uh, because Pixabay, what it does is it has Creative Commons CC0, or in other words, public domain images that you can use basically anywhere for any reason you want. And a lot of them are quite nice, actually. I was looking at um, these hiking images by Noel uh, Bowser. I, oh, I'm hoping pronouncing that right. And uh, we're going to actually use those as some of the backgrounds here. And we'll make sort of a hiking page. Uh, just for the fun of it. So Zion Park, Utah Mountains. That is a pretty nice shot there, I do have to say. You can, uh, well, <clears throat> if you log into Pixabay, you don't actually have to put in the CAPTCHA anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And free download. Let's do large, 1920 by 1440. Now, um, once I actually go back into Cornerstone and click on the section logo, we can see that it's saying 1500 by 750 pixels for the placeholder, and that would be ideal. If you want the image to fit perfectly, you would want to take this image, shrink it down in a program like GIMP or Photoshop, or have someone else do that, um, to get those dimensions so that it will fix, fit perfectly within this box. But in this case, I'm just going to add it in. And what we'll do for this case is it's going to crop off the sides or basically remove the extra space in the image so that it'll just show whatever's left in the center. And that should look all right. And I'd say it looks pretty reasonable here. So I'll grab a couple more images. Let's just uh, stick to the theme here of grabbing some of these hiking photos, I guess. Europa Park? Sure, why not? And you know what? Eh, let's just go to the top and search for hiking. Obviously, you're not going to spend too long on this because we are trying to move this along. And 1280 by 6 something should probably be good enough. Let's just close out that front page because we're in the middle of editing it. And we can just move on through the other sections add in new pages or new uh, images <laughs> and it's actually quite simple to add them in here we can use that smaller image i grabbed and really you get the idea these different elements on the page you can edit them um, in some cases they're just images but other cases would be like text where you can just click on the text element select all of it um, either with the visual editor or the text editor um, the difference here, if you don't know, is the text editor will show it as plain HTML and the visual editor will kind of show what it would look like in the end. Uh, if you're not really familiar with HTML, you can just use the visual editor and you should be fine. So here I'll take the original text and we'll say something about hiking. Um, the Pine National Forest is a great place to be you can experience so many wonderful animals and seasons by coming here with your season pass <laughs> I'm just making this up at, um, on the fly I know <laughs> the greatest marketing line of all time it's actually not too bad but it's not too great why buy the hiking season pass this would be for the heading and you can see um, basically these demos out of the box one of the good things you get is that they've basically um, chosen fonts for you that are quite nice they work together well and have been professionally designed so that always helps um, we can change the how it actually looks so if we wanted it to be bigger we would want a header 2 instead of a header 4 um, might be unnecessary actually that's not too bad maybe a header 3 yeah Let's go with that. We can take these links, and if we had a page on our website, um, like let's say for instance we created a portfolio page, that's a that's a great idea. We would just type in the relative path to that page, so we wouldn't need the www.demo 
wp um, or demo.com, we would just need the slash and then the name of the page here. And if we actually had that page created, then this button would take us straight there. And yeah, then once again, there's so many settings here that you can uh, really play around with. Um, and it would take hours to go into every single one, but hopefully this does give you a good idea. So what I'll do now is we'll, we will go back out to the WP admin interface and we'll create uh, effectively a portfolio page. In fact, it's great because uh, portfolio is actually a default content type that X includes uh, with the theme. So uh, WordPress can support other content types than just posts. Some themes will add them for you them, uh, so that you can basically use them on pages like a portfolio page. And other plugins will uh, basically do the same thing. So here we're gonna want a new page. So I will go to pages, add new, portfolio. Here are some portfolio items. Uh, now actually we would probably want to edit this with Cornerstone once again. Um, this is the default WordPress page editor, but if you're using Cornerstone, it's best to be consistent. So, let's see here. I believe this is the back end. Instead, we can use the Cornerstone tab to basically bring up how it looked before. Um, but if you want to use this option as well, we can basically drop in some elements. I don't know. Uh, a search short code, I guess. Then we can preview that and it should have a search bar. Yeah, that's about right. So like once again, we don't have to write any code. It's just short code for search done. Um, once again, I would probably prefer to use the Cornerstone tab, edit with Cornerstone, but that's also there and available for you. So we'll just leave that as the page itself and believe we need a portfolio template. So if you actually want to take a page and make it into a portfolio, you want to go to template and use the portfolio template, which should display any of the items we have in our portfolio. So let's go ahead I didn't add a new portfolio item and we won't really delve too much into X past this, just showing you how it's pretty, pretty easy to get set up with everything here. I don't want to go on for too long. But let's say, um, let's see, pass 2016 hiking pass. Why not? This pass gets you access to Yellowstone National Park. Everywhere in Idaho. And a free hot dog at the Great Lakes. Great Lakes Resort. I don't know, getting a little bit silly here. Hot dog is two words, I guess. Oh well, this isn't focus on grammar. Okay, so just like any other kind of content type, you can add portfolio categories, which it does actually allow you to filter with on a portfolio template page. So I'll add in a couple here. Passes, scene, scenic locations update da, 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 da. and I think the last thing we really want to have here is a featured image because that uh, on the you'll see that on the portfolio page um, whenever you do create a page with portfolio template that it's going to basically expect a featured image so I will just reuse this one for the sake of time so select that as the featured image, hit update, go back to the front page, and we can see that all those changes we made, it, uh, made adding in the images there, they got cropped, but they're showing just fine. And this button, because we customized the link, will take us, in theory, to the portfolio page. And it didn't, and I think I know why. I I think that's because I did not specify a URL or a title for the page. <laughs> not sure I overlooked that one, but hey, there you go. Doing it live. So if you ever need to change the link for a page, just so you know, you can go to permalink right here. 
really good thing to know so that you get your pages where you actually want them. Now we'll hit view page and we have it there. This is our first portfolio item. And just to test that button to make sure it's actually going there, we'll hit see showcase. Takes us to the portfolio page and it's got the featured image over here, but because of how uh, basically X has been set up, it's already got the portfolio link and the hover over animation, which will take us straight to that portfolio item. And then displaying the text and everything else we added with that portfolio item, including share functionality. So already, I mean, it's basically would be a decent portfolio site or at least a decent front page for your hiking website. You really get the idea here, I hope, um, with X theme, you can accomplish a lot without having to do a tremendous amount of effort. Um, and it's basically all right out of the box without having to code. So I will try to cover the theme more in future videos, but this is just meant to give you a rough rundown. If you want to see anything specific, maybe how to integrate one of the other plugins or the sliders, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to read through them. Take a look at that and decide what to do for my next video. But until then, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then.